Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In case you can't see here, I'm on a new bike. So this is the new 2021 CB500X. And it's kind of taking some getting used to. It feels different. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot, I can feel the weight more than I can on the 300L, but uh, bad part about it is I won't be doing much off-road on this because it's, to me, it's definitely not a dual sport like the 300L is. But it sure is better on the highway. Of course, this windshield, you can see the height of this windshield and the wind is going straight in my eyes, I think, worse than it is than it does on the 300. Got a few miles on it now, 301 miles. Getting broke in. Not even time for the first oil change yet. So we'll stop up here in a second. I'll do a little review and show you the bike. Find a good place to pull over. Hopefully it ain't right down there. If I duck down, I can get down below that windshield. And it's feel pretty good. It's definitely got more power, more pull. I mean, not like a ton more than the 300, but it's got more. It's not like double or nothing, but you can definitely feel the pull a lot better. Well, let me see if I can pull over right here, but I think I'll turn around first. No, I'll just park right here. Put it at an angle so it don't fall over here. So I'm out riding with my buddy Harry. He's on the little red bike. And uh, so there it is. I actually like the color. Cool looking color. And you can see like it's not uh, one thing indicating it's not a dual sport is the fender's low. Kind of like the Africa Twin was. The fender was low like this also. But I'm sure you could buy a fender kit and put your fender up high like a dual sport. And another thing is, it's not a full frame. So your pipes and your engine is exposed right here. And if you happen to uh, go off road too much, off ledges and stuff, you're gonna bash them pipes right into rocks and tear the heck out of them, I guarantee you. And the oil filter's right there behind it. Cars coming up through here. Think about running over me. But, get the radiator right up here. Uh, all the way across instead of twins or a single on one side like the 300 was but pretty cool bike i like the exhaust on it feels good the seat is definitely more comfortable which it wouldn't take much to be more comfortable than a 300l or a 250l seat my goodness it's like a freeway here all the cars coming by So the windshield needs to be have some risers of some kind on it to yeah. raise it up higher. What'd she do? Think that we just broke down? Well, well no, if we need help. Oh. I said you did. <laughs> Mental help. <laughs> so, uh, like I was saying, they need some risers on it to raise this windshield up uh, so it ain't so low and the air's right in my face. But the dash is awful dark. Maybe at night it's better. I haven't rode it at night yet. I rode it enough. So, and these tires are definitely not for off-road. They're about like what the Africa Twin had. They call them dual sport tires, but maybe uh, a gravel in a parking lot or something. So, anyway, that's it. Harry's back here. It's a Africa Twin. Oh, Harry's, Harry's on a 300L. Yeah, what do you think about that? What the that? heck? That's a nice bike. Yeah, traded up from the 250. Wow. Okay, so not actually. This is actually Harry's bike. He bought this bike, and this is my 300L. I'm not getting rid of my 300L. Uh, I went to the Africa Twin, like we was talking the way over here one time, 
to the Africa tw Twin because I thought, well, this is a 1,000cc dual sport, you know, and it wasn't. It wasn't a dual sport. It was a, you're going to get run over, man. Yeah. What is this, like a freeway off down here in this holler? I guess so. It's... Yeah, she looked like a drug runner to me. World. Didn't she look like a druggie to you? Well, I don't know. I don't try to associate with those people. <laughs> Don't know what they look like. Ain't got no friends in in low places. <laughs> so this is actually Harry's bike, but this is a 2021 CB 500X. CB 500X. But it is a sharp looking bike. I like the red frame, even though it's kind of crazy to put a a cool looking frame, metallic frame. But all you see is this little spot right here. You take seat off, it looks good. Yeah, <laughs> you can't even see the frame. They just well left it black, no more red than there is. I guess it kind of highlights with this red camo stuff up here, whatever this is. I purchased this just to ride on the, mostly the highway. I kept my 250L. I'm not going to part with it. It's too much fun. Thank God. Yeah. I was like, I told him, I said, you better not get rid of your 250. Because yeah, be, he'll be like I was. I guarantee you, I got the blues after riding the Africa Twin for a while. I missed that 250 so bad that I went back and then, of course, went to the 300. But this is a cool bike. It, I can definitely feel the power more, but it's not like I thought. It's not like twice the power or nothing. You can definitely feel it better. Now, out on the highway, which I haven't had it, I bet you get up to 70 a lot easier than you would on the 300. Yeah, you don't have to downshift on the highway. If, if you go up a hill, you just keep it six gear and you give it more, more throttle. Right. There's not a lot of downshift in it unless you just in the you know, tight corners or something. Right. And do you notice that about the windshield? Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna have to. It needs, it needs about. That's exactly what I thought. Cause I, I squatted down a little bit like that, and when I did, I could, it just the air quit, got it right on my face. I think if I can't find something that suits me, I'm gonna leave it like it is for the winter time. Summertime, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take it off. Oh yeah, I, I, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. There's more hemp wear hitting me right here than there ever is on that. Yep. And it's and I'm wide open. You got all the air, but it's clean air. It's because this air here is just this thing's just pushing the air right into your eyes. Honda's got to know that they've got a problem with this, but I guess they want to keep it because it looks good. I don't well, all them Chinese guys over there, they may not bother them. Yeah, they're short, so they're shorter than us. So. If you're five six, it's probably perfect. <laughs> but I'm six, almost six three, and it's a little tall. Check out them bar riders. I mean, what is this thing? Ain't that crazy? Oh yeah. Look where the keys at. Yeah, and way down. I noticed that when I turned on, it's like way down in here. I'm, I'm not used to uh, the, the fairing. Your speedometer don't move, your headlight don't move, but your wheel does. Yeah, now that's the way a rally would be. This is what, if you was riding a rally, you would be more familiar with this. It does seem kind of weird because, and that's one of the reasons people ask me all the time, like, why did you not choose the rally? I just don't, I'm not much into the looks of it, and I do like a bike. When I turn the bars, I want the headlight to move with it. And... This just seems so weird, kind of like four wheelers. Yeah, they've got, they've got, they make three of these in the 500 range. They make the 500R, which is you know, more of a fast bike. Then they make the F without the fairing. It's the same bike as the Mecca bike. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can have you can have this same bike without the fairing. And this is actually, it does only have single disc. It's got a bigger disc. Yeah, next year they're coming out with doubles. Next year doubles, and what else is new on the next year? Next year they're putting show up upside down forks. Oh, okay, so they're gonna have inverted forks. Yeah, and then dual dual brakes, and that's about the only thing they're doing different. I think the engine's staying the same. Mm -hmm. Which that'll be some good improvements. Yeah. But this this thing here, you can tell by these shocks, you you can't. There's, I mean, people do. I've seen the videos where they take these off road, but I'm telling you, I would think you would have to be careful or. There's also there's also a video of a guy that's got one. He's called Oregon Rider, and he got a video where he knocked a hole in his oil pan too. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're so exposed. And look at them pipes. And this thing is just, you know, here's the engine oil. Here's the oil pan right here. And then all you got to do is hit a rock, and you're only look at the clearance. Five inches, six. You're six inches off the ground, seven maybe, uh, into a rock. If you go off road, and hit a rock, you're done. It would bust that dude right wide open. I'm not even going to put a skid plate on it for now. I'm just going to ride it on the highway. I mean, I would rather ride the 300L that didn't even come with a skid plate than yep. this off-road because at least it has something, yep. the frame tubes, to drag on. If you hit those pipes, it's done. It's, it's pure aftermarket, everything on it. 
But I'm sure it's not actually meant for that. Well, the tires are like 80-20. Well, that's just like I said a little bit ago. Them was more like the Africa Twin tires. That thing come with their, their highway tires. Yeah. Ain't, there ain't enough tread there for off-road. Even for gravel, really, they're not no good. I used to ride the Africa Twin. I get on gravel, and that thing just walked all over the place. <laughs> Aired down, I'm sure, would help. Yeah. So we're just on a paved road ride today with... Harry, I told him, I said, well, let's take the bike out and make a video and show your bike. And there's usually some goats up on this bluff and I don't see all the way around this ledge up there. This is a, this is a great little bluff. It is, it's, I'm, boy, my makes you dizzy looking up at it too much. It you lean back. It's almost in a semicircle too. Yeah. Yeah, the bluff, they've made the road just follow the bluff around here in the creek. Yeah. But that's a, that's a big old dude. I told him, I said, one day I come by here and there was a goat laying right down here, somewhere right in here, dead. I don't know if it fell off or some idiot shot it off there or what. And I have been by here on some of my older videos. You can see the goats on the bluff and some you can see um, the goats in the road. I think some of them, if you look back on my old videos, just type in woodsman and goat. And you'll see I got two or three videos of these goats down here. But... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like the bike, and I and I thought about something different to having the 300. There's no way I'm getting rid of it, and having something else. But right now, it's just not really feasible. I mean, the only reason I ended up with it is because I sold my side to side, and so I don't want to let that money go to waste. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> let Honda have it back. I just always thought a cool idea would be. If you order something like uh, something your wife wants, like some jewelry or something, yeah. and then you order for her for Christmas, and then I'll be dang, they, how in the heck they sent these motorcycle parts and stuff? I didn't order that. <laughs> and now we're going to have, and why in the world would the parts be for my bike? <laughs> Is that a new helmet? Yeah. <laughs> Golly, no way. They goofed up. I, I was looking at them, and evidently when I clicked on it, somehow I clicked on the motorcycle parts. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Somehow they spammed me and sent me that instead of the jewelry I ordered for you, honey. <laughs> I'm glad my wife's not really into jewelry. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that so much. So what's this? Just electrical wi electrical wires here? I think it's hose. Oh, that's a hose. It's hose, yeah. Oh, okay. I guess it's just got the heat shield and everything on it. Hmm. I think that's what it is. It feels like, like a hose. I ain't had it very long. It's a, it's a, it's a radiator hose. Yeah. That's what it is. It's right here. Oh, here it is. Yeah. yeah. Your, your uh, water pump's right here. So your hose comes down this and here goes from here and back to the other side. Now that's wild. I get the head to head to put it somewhere. We're going to go back on the road and get up the road a little ways. The bad part about this time of year here, where we're at, it's getting dark about 5.30. It's pretty dark, which sucks. I knew we wouldn't get to ride too long tonight. Yeah. I'm going to get back on this red bike. Everybody probably thought, oh, my God, are you serious? He went and bought another bike. I'm not buying another bike. <laughs> my goodness, this does feel lighter. I just rode that thing a little ways. I know this here, uh, if you get a little, you can feel the gas in it. I actually considered one of those bikes, not getting rid of this, when I had the 250. Yeah. I actually considered getting one of those to have for more of a road bike. And now this one actually is a lot better for on the road than the 250 was. Yes, so I feel like I'm just pretty happy medium here. Shut my shield down. Yeah. Doing everything I hope it will do. Well, it, look, it looks good, that's for sure. I like the colors. What? It's a Honda. Honda Europe 
sends in three different colors of bikes. Huh. We get one every year. All these people say, well, I wish they'd make the 300L something besides red. What are you talking about, people? It's a Honda. I want red. When I get a Honda, I want red. I know, I'm telling you. Honda in my blood. I tell you, it's getting along in the evening. It's about time to see some. Do you see my last video where I went riding down by Rock Creek? No. You did. Do you quit watching my videos, Harry? I've been busy, Frank. Oh, horse pucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's bull butter. The one where I went down the road, down the. Oh yeah, yeah, I watched that. Yeah. Off of 248 and turn. Yeah, that one, yeah. yeah I okay. I Did you watch it all the way to the end? Well, no. <laughs> You're like, three minutes was enough. I'm bored with this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, what was I going to say about that? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say about that video. Darn it. Oh, about I saw a deer on that video, yeah. Okay. But on these cameras here, you can hardly ever see the deer in the v camera, you know. It's just not like seeing with your eyes what you see. Uh, Saturday morning, I come outside and went down by my building. There's a doe and two fawns. They come right up to me. Oh, my, I bet you they was from here to that hay bale. Come right up that close. And finally, one of the fawns got kind of spooked because I moved a little bit, and they didn't really still run off. They kind of trotted up the hill a little ways and stopped. And that was opening day of deer season. Usually the deer, you see them move now, because you, can you imagine being a deer right now? I'm telling you, every time they jump a fence, there's somebody in orange trying to shoot them. <laughs> It'd have to be pretty miserable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, have to. Yeah. They have to. And I'm a hunter. I haven't hunted since we started on this house thing because we didn't have nowhere to put a deer. And now I ain't hunting. Heck, if I need some deer, my son-in-law give me some. Oh yeah. He was he was right on. He was afraid he, he dropped it or something, but he was still there. I like that deer meat. I can eat it a lot. I can eat it all the time. Price of beef anymore, you may have to start eating more of it. Yep. Don't bother me none. Deer and squirrels, that's my favorite. And fish. Rabbits are okay. They're not as good as squirrels, I don't think, but... I'm kind of squirrely. I don't know. I like those tame rabbits. I don't know if I've ever eaten a tame rabbit. They look a lot bigger. There's got to be more meat yeah. on them. Yeah, they're, they're a little tender, I think. I don't. I honestly don't think I've ever eaten a tame rabbit. Yeah. We fixed up a we fixed up a rotisserie, battery operated, and cook them over a campfire when we go out to camps and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Buy buy a couple of those tame ones. Mm -hmm. Just put them on the spit. Well, they're good. I've eaten a I've eaten a bunch of wild rabbits, but I did my younger days rabbits, squirrels, frogs. He didn't care. Yeah, well, oh, I forgot about frog legs. Yeah, that's frog legs. That's like a delicacy. It's it's like uh, nothing like it. Even though everybody says it tastes like chicken, but they don't know what they're talking about because no. it don't taste nothing like chicken. Uh, it's, it's it's the other white meat. If it tastes like chicken, there's something wrong with your chicken. <laughs> you better throw it away. <laughs> pond, that big pond I've got, it produces lots of frogs every year. Oh man, do you gig them? I, I don't. I, usually my boy or my brother does. My brother, he's him and his daughter. They they're big into the frog eating. Oh man, I love them. There's always a big competition. Who's going to get there first, my son or my brother? <laughs> I haven't been in so many years. It's crazy.
and I got some one time at a restaurant, and you could yep. tell they was not like pond frogs. It's like farm-raised catfish. Yeah, it's not the same thing. We're, I bet you we'll see some deer up here at. Uh, That's uh, what I was thinking up here at the Big uh, Horn, Big Horn, or whatever. Yeah, JB Hunt or whatever that is. Yeah. I don't know who owns it now. I think they sold it. Yeah, I don't know. Because he it, died. And... It's, it's quite a place, though. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That looked like pretty big deer right there. You see that red one? Well, no. I didn't see any horns. Yeah. Well, yeah, they don't need no horns. You got a doe tag. You better don't. Look at this one up here. There's a big old deer right there. Oh, that's, you, a, that's a I horse. Think, I think they, <laughs> yeah, lady, you can have your rope. Just let me get my saddle off of it. <laughs> yeah, shoot the thing, go over. What in the world they got on this deer? <laughs> it's just a nice little road to ride. It is. I, that's why I thought we'd come out down here and then go up Pine Log. Yep. Seems like me and you have been up through here, haven't we? We have. I think so. Back when it was a little warmer. Yeah. Oh, I sure do dread the summer. Or the summer going away and winter coming. I'm a I'm, summer person. I'm having a hard time getting used to it being dark. Oh, I know. Before supper time. Yeah, I don't like it. I get home from work and boy, it ain't very long. You look out and it's like, are you serious? It's yeah. dark? It's 4.30 now. I got to set my clock. I have no time change. I never did set it on this thing. I got 442, something like that. Yeah, mine says 542. So, did yours have a, a clock? Does it got the gas mileage? Yep, yeah, I've got trip trip mileage, gas mileage, got A and B. It's got a whole bunch of stuff on it. Does it, you, does it have a temperature outside? It's got a, no, it's got an inch of temperature on it. Oh, the Africa Twin had uh, I don't think it outside does temperature, ambient temperature. I haven't found that yet. I bet it don't. You'd see it. Yeah, I don't push a lot of the buttons. <laughs> If it starts and runs, it got gas in it, I'm happy. Yeah, because once you get it out of Kelty, you'd never get it back. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to have some help. You have to watch that YouTuber guy you said. Yeah. I was just I was just happy I was able to get my new phone connected today. So here's the start of this fence right here. Let's see about how far this is. It's quite a ways. Yeah, it goes and it goes all the way back over to the other highway. Yeah, and this is plumb over to actually Thomas Holler pretty much. Yep, you Look at this buck right here. Check him out. Yep. Check. He's just. I thought it was fake for a minute. He didn't wasn't moving. I think we may get run over here. Well, they need to move around us. Yeah. Look at the rack on that. That's a big one, isn't it? That is nice. Beautiful. Ain't no, ain't no hurry. Beautiful. Well, I was figuring we might see something up here, but that was a nice one. Shit, would car wouldn't have been coming by. I got my phone out. Took a picture. I should have a, that one. You should be able to see on this camera, guys. <laughs> but usually you don't. Yeah, that was an impressive rack. That was nice. That's what I was hoping to see, but you don't see that often. Oh, well, there's some prize bucks in there. I'm sure, and you can pay big money and go hunt them, or used to be able to. I don't. I don't. What you can see? There's still. Somebody's still in charge. He's still got where they're riding the fence while they're flying every day. Yeah, it's right. Ben drove pretty heavy because the yeah. tracks are there. It's not grown up. I was hoping that Harry'd buy this place. You know, every time we ride, you've got your shopping list of places you want me to. Come I know. <laughs> and someday I'm thinking <laughs> you're going to. <laughs> if you if your ship would just come in. Yeah, if it does, it's probably going to be a dinghy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trying to take it easy here. Maybe we'll see another one. We probably won't see another one like that. There's more in there. I guarantee you. Oh yeah. He probably what? wasn't. He probably wasn't the, the prize buck out there. He was a nice one. I'd hate to kill one that pretty just for the rack if people weren't going to eat it. Oh, they probably, probably they probably feed them things down there. Oh, I bet they do. They come yeah. right up to you. I've heard that you can, they'll let one out of the pen. You can just shoot it right there when it walks out of the pen, I guess. That's what I've heard. That's not really a sportsman there. 
I'm not a sportsman. I don't hunt for sport at all. I hunt because I like deer meat. I hunt because I like the squirrels. I don't, I, I've never hunted anything for sport or fishing. Yeah, I enjoy it. But I don't try to be sportsman. I try to hunt for food. Check this out, guys. We're still going. The fence is still here. There's a truck there. That must yep. be one of the workers there. They got antennas all over it. Yeah. He's right, fish riding. Waiting for somebody to go shooting a deer on there, probably. Listening for a gunshot. Private property, no trespassing. Bad part about that one is if you'd have been there driving and you decide to road hunt and shoot that deer, how are you going to get it? I don't know. Over that fence? How you gonna? How you going to tell the people that you shot up from the highway? Yeah, he jumped that <laughs> fence. How tall is that, eight foot? <laughs> oh, at, least, at least that. Yeah. Yeah, he jumped the fence, man. Looks like it's about a six foot, you know, fence with an extra two foot on top of it. Yeah. Looks like about eight foot, probably. Yeah. Still going. I guess you could cut a hole in the fence, but Joy, you'd have to be fast. They'd catch you. I think I'll just not do it. I think you ought to do it tonight. Mm. In case there's any game warden, you watch my video. Yeah, the game warden's never out there in curses. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's a donut shop somewhere. Now, actually, we just met one on the way over yeah, here. Yeah, we did. Look at this, guys. We are still driving along this fence. I don't know how far we went, but quite a ways. And like Gary said, this thing still, I don't know how far it is, but it's quite a ways back over there to uh, yeah. where Thomas Holler at the end of my holler there. That's a long, long way. Uh-oh, there's another one. See, he's got antennas on there, too. They're talking to each other. Oh, uh, there's nobody in that truck. This is a prime spot to get one. It's probably what they're thinking. I'd be a way to do it if one jumps out here in the road, you run him down and hit him. The deer can clear that eight foot fence, we're going to put him in the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a prize deer. Okay, here we're at the end of it. That's the end of her. Yep. Cuts back through there. Oh, look at that black one. Oh, okay, that's not a deer. Darn the luck. I don't know, but I'd actually rather shoot one of them. There's a lot more meat on that thing. And I do like steak a lot. I do too. I'm a steak person. I could have steak every night if we had it, but we can't afford it. 